Oh fucking good, I really wanted to make some other videos today. Hey, you know that Clicker Heroes 2 review? That's gonna be tomorrow because it's the second of the month and what a great fucking video to do the Patreons on. So we have got some Patreons as the payments have come in and you can check them out. Right below you there is a uh, Moon Knight right there and that's his YouTube channel and oh it's nice he does game reviews he's got a review code of Flippin' Dead so he's making a video on Flippin' Dead by Zoinks Games I mean I didn't get a review code yet I have put in for one I'm still waiting but it's, it's coming out next week so there's probably a chance that I've not got one but hey Moon Knight got one and Moon Knight's making a video on Flippin' Dead so that's, that's good, you can check him out, and he's a Patreon, so thank you very much for your donation, Moon Knight. As is Autumn, who's doing Tumblr. She's got amazing art, and while I can't show it in a little caption in the video like Moon Knight, because I haven't made that caption yet, there is a link below to Autumn's Tumblr to go check out her art, and obviously, if you like it, you could probably get a piece for yourself. Anyway... You've probably seen the title of the video. So, let's let's get in to Activision being total bastards uh, to everyone. Not just me, to everyone. So, obviously, we're going to start with yours truly, the greatest dragon in gaming, where it seems like Robert and Activision Blizzard, as well as Toys for Bob and whoever runs that shit show are doing some scummy things with my reignited trilogy and there's no reason for it. Obviously, the first issue came a couple of weeks ago when everybody found out that the guns, all of the weapons, the guns, the cannons and everything in the game were replaced with Splatoon weapons, bright, colourful uh, super soaker like guns that shot paint and you're seeing the clip of that Yay. and their excuse was because it's a kids game it's kid friendly think well oh, please won't somebody pick up the children and everybody pointed out that it's complete and total bullshit because Crash Bandicoot's N St. Georgie is also a kids game for kids and thinks of the children. And that is Pinstripe, who has a realistically proportioned Tommy gun. And those are realistic bullets that he's shooting. Isn't it Activision? Yes it is. Yes it is Toys for Bob. They're realistic bullets. And did Vicarious Visions care? No. Did you care Activision? No. Did you, did you censor anything else in the Reignited Trilogy? Fucking no! You didn't. You absolutely didn't. Hey, by the way, just uh, letting you know, you know when I kill enemies? You know when I, like, breathe fire on them? You do know that that is somebody being burnt alive, and they are screaming in agony as their flesh melts from their bones. Like, that's, why aren't you censoring that? Why, why aren't you censoring that, Activision? Because that's, uh, I'd say that's pretty um, not kid-friendly, listening to a man screaming in agony as the very flesh is melted off his bones and he's burnt alive. Uh, what about the swords? You do know, like in Haunted Towers, there's these knights and they have swords. And you do know that the swords, oh, I don't know, cut you in half. They are blades. They are sharpened blades designed, again, to cleave flesh from bone. Have the swords been... Have the swords been nerfed? Have the swords been, um... Uh, what's the word? Four kids up? Have they been four kids up to look like fucking lollipops or whatever? Nah, you haven't censored that, have you? You haven't censored those two things. What else is there? 
What 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 else can we bring up? Oh yeah, Ripto in the original. He has explosives and he throws them at somebody. You know, like actual real explosive bombs that disintegrate a person into atoms and they are dead. Have you censored those? Have you turned those into into the fucking splatooning bombs? No, of course you fucking haven't. Of course you haven't. There's so many things we could point out. So why did you censor the guns? We know why. Because America had a school shooting, and that's terrible, that's a fucking horrible thing to happen, and it, it's fucking terrible, right? But, guess what, Activision? That's politics, which exists outside the world of video games, and the reason why Crash just left Pinstripe with his realistic Tommy gun firing realistic bullets is because children don't care about politics, and all the nostalgic players that have played the originals also don't care about politics. They don't care whether that school shooting happened or not in their video games. And you're bringing it in to say, oh, well, we can't have uh, realistic guns because if the little child sees the purple dragon and he sees the purple get dragon getting shot with a realistic gun, it might provoke him to go and shoot a, a realist. No. No, that's why Vicarious Vision didn't do it. You, Robert, you Activision Blizzard, you Toys for Bob, you brought that political statement into the game. Nobody wanted it there. Nobody cared about it. It was its own separate thing. It was its own separate thing for its own separate discussion. And I'm a video game... Well, I'm not really a journalist, but you get the point. I'm a video game entertainer. Most other people are video game entertainers. I cannot talk politics. I am not one to talk about the, the veracity of gun control in America. That's politics, and you were the ones that brung that in. You were the ones that brung that into this place, and uh, I would highly recommend that you just change all the guns back to realistic guns, and you change them all back to shooting realistic bullets. I don't care what your bullshit is. Don't say, oh, it's for the children. It's not because the children don't care. Five-year-olds don't even know the concept of a gun. To them, it's just another obstacle for their favourite purple dragon to overcome. They don't give a shit about the concept. And then if you say, oh, but, but, the, the shooting, nobody cares about the politics, right? You're bringing that in, stop bringing it in. Leave it at the fucking door, Toys for Bob. Because you, you're getting another bash in, you're getting another slap on the wrist right now, because nobody's happy with what you're doing. So let's move on to the next thing, the fucking physical edition. Jesus Christ, Activision and Toys for Bob. I don't know which of the two of you it is, and as you can tell, I'm quite furious at you, because... Crash gets all this love and attention and care, and it seems like you're rushing my trilogy. You're shitting it out for the 20th anniversary. You do know Samus Returns was on the 21st anniversary of Metroid, like one year later, because Nintendo actually cares, and Nintendo puts actual time and consideration into releasing a quality product, rather than trying to rush it out for the 20th anniversary for the dollar signs. Activision Blizzard. So, it was recently announced that the physical editions for the Reignited Trilogy are now up for pre-order on the Spyro the Dragon website, and I feel quite disgusted that my name is on that website, considering what you're doing, Activision Blizzard. I feel, I feel quite offended, to be honest, but if you decide to purchase the physical edition, you are only getting the first game on the disc. Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 are not included and on the website. It says that both the second and third game require a physical, or sorry, an internet connection to download, and then on the box it says internet download is required. Why? Why? So you can rush it out? Is that your reason? Oh, we, we don't have time to put all three on a disc. We gotta rush that shit out, and I think I understand why. Because it's a month away, and so far all I've seen is Spyro 1 and 2. I haven't seen anything of Spyro 3, so... Does that mean that Spyro 3 actually isn't finished, and you're trying to get get your pre-orders out as fast as possible? Because it feels like this is turning into a rush job. It feels like it's turning into, like, just a lazy slapdash thing that's going to go to shit. And heaven help you if it goes to shit, Activision Blizzard. Heaven help you if it goes to shit, Toys for Bob. I'm already not happy 
with the Skylander stuff and the way that you just trashed my kingdom, Spyro's kingdom, my kingdom, the way you trashed that for fucking Skylanders and then you had the gall to make Crasher Sensei and not me. I am the legendary purple dragon, I am just as good as Crash, yet he becomes a Sensei and I don't. So you're already in hot water, please for Bob. So stop it, sit down, sort yourself the fuck out. And now we're gonna have to talk about all the other shit that Activision's doing because the beta of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 came out yesterday, everybody got their, their beta codes and everybody played it and as Optimus put it state that it is right now I think this really might be my least favorite Call of Duty game of all time so let me explain to you why I think this beta sucks okay why this build of the game is complete garbage and if it launches in this state which honestly I think that it will launch in a similar manner this will be the worst Call of Duty game of all time and it's a complete and total fucking mess and from what I have seen of the game, from what I played of a, of a beta, from one of the Call of Duty fans in, in my public space that I could have a go at it, I, I, I can't, I just don't even know what to say about it. I mean, I know what to say about it, because, right, so, let's put it into brass tacks. The multiplayer is complete and total shit, and there is no single player campaign. So why, children? Let's add two and two together, let's put them on the board, let's just put them up here on the board. We're gonna do some basic maths, children. So let's see, no single player, uh, shit multiplayer, so if we add them two together, oh, and let's not forget the other thing that they're doing, we'll just put a question mark on that, but you know the other thing they're doing. So if we add a uh, no single player plus a shit multiplayer with the other thing, why do we think that there is a shit multiplayer and no single player? It's because of the other thing, the Battle Royale. Yeah, this is Battle Royale the Black Ops way. It is very clear from the open beta that the multiplayer aspect of the game is total bog shit and um, it's trend chasing. If you play it or if you watch any videos of people playing it, I mean to, to actually play it, to feel it, you can feel it. But it feels a lot like a more fast paced hero based shooter like Overwatch as Activision Blizzard have seen that Overwatch, their other property, is selling gangbusters and they are trying to capitalize on that gameplay of Overwatch, that gameplay loop of Overwatch, and pretty much all of the original Call of Duty mechanics have been ripped out for Overwatch mechanics, so... Yay, I'm sure that won't piss off the Call of Duty fans at all. I'm totally sure that you're not going to receive any negative crit- Oh wait, people are already giving you negative criticism, Activision, Blizzard, and Treyarch. Jesus. Then it doesn't stop there because a lot of the problems aren't just the fact that the gameplay is radically different, like the fact that it feels more like Overwatch than a, a standard Call of Duty, but all of the other things just feel like luster. The actual maps, because you would think in a beta they would show off the best bits, that's usually what a demo level or a beta is for, to highlight the best part of the game and show off the best part of the game to get you to buy it. Like, um, if you were playing, say, Spyro 1, they would probably want to show you off a really exciting home world, like the Beast Makers or the Magic Crafters, a later world to say, hey, look at all this cool shit that you're going to be able to do, like the supercharge ramps, and then they'll probably give you a level like, uh like Wizard's Peak in the Magic Crafters to say, oh look, here's the supercharged ramps, you just go whoosh down, bash the wizards and you can launch off the end of the supercharged ramps, glide. That's usually what a beta or a demo is for, to show off your, your best piece. This is the, the thing that you want people to buy your game with. This is your golden, this is your golden nugget that you want people to look at and say, you know what? I like that golden nugget, but what if that golden nugget was an entire golden brick? I want the full brick, not just the nugget. And 
if those are your best maps, then Jesus Christ, I feel so... I feel so sorry for you. I feel goddamn sorry for the Call of Duty fans so much. They are all very generic. If you hated the maps from Call of Duty World War 2, then you're gonna hate these ones because they are basically the same as the World War 2 maps where it's basically just three lanes, so unlike some of the older ones like the ones in World at War, there's no, there's no, um, big areas to spread out in and use different places to flank. It's basically the, the three lane system from uh, World War Two. I was going to say World at War. No, World at War is a, a fairly decent one. But yeah, it's basically the three lane system from World War Two. But of course, the biggest problem, the, the absolute biggest problem, why don't you explain Optimus? The biggest problem with this game is the time to kill. It is ridiculous. It takes like six bullets to kill somebody in this game. I mean, there is absolutely no reason that this time to kill should ever be featured in a Call of Duty game. It just, it's horrible. It can take like half a clip to kill somebody just if you're spraying or you're trying to maintain aim on them as they move around. There's no reason that this time to kill should be this high. It needs to be short. I say it needs to be cut probably about in half, but as it stands right now, it's ridiculous. I know it was only one sentence, but the fact that the kill time is six to seven seconds is is ridiculous. To put this in perspective, most fast-paced games, like uh, you don't even have to be that fast-paced. It could be any shooter like Doom or something where you may have to do a little bit of stealth. But on average, it, with shooting mechanics, be it in a single-player game like Doom or a multiplayer game like Fortnite, Gunplay usually has a kill time of between 2 to 4 seconds because obviously different games have different mechanics if there's jetpacks involved or vertical spaces involved there might be a little bit of lead time but normally on average kill time is between 2 to 4 seconds at most and 4 seconds is really kind of pushing it like 90% of the time, kill time is usually 2 to 3 seconds. And you've doubled that to 6 or 7 seconds. Jesus fucking Christ, say it again, Optimus. Around. There's no reason that this time to kill should be this high. It needs to be short. I say it needs to be cut probably about in half. But as it stands right now, it's ridiculous. What the actual balls, Activision? But we're not done, are we? No, we're not done because we got the ship multiplayer which is, is lackluster, but here's the problem, it's going gold. It's already gone gold, so this, wait, this is what you get, this this is it. There's there's no time to change it anymore. There's no, there's no like, ah, oh, well people hate it, let's check, there's no time for that. It's already gone gold. You're getting another beta next month, and then that's it, full release, we're, we're good to go, and if they're going to make changes, they're going to pretty much have to work 24 hours, and that's not going to happen, and this is probably going to be the death of Call of Duty. Like, a lot of people have been heralding Call of Duty's death for a while, but for the most part, this one, even the Call of Duty fans are saying, if this is what Call of Duty is turning into, I don't want to be here anymore. Call of Duty is a very casual game, obviously, and a lot of people that are, are casual buyers won't do their research, won't be on the internet, but it does like look like this could be the end, because with the multiplayer, for example, they're trying to trend chase Overwatch when people already have an Overwatch, it's called Overwatch, or if you want a free-to-play version, Paladins, people already have that style of gameplay with Overwatch or Paladins. You're trying to trend chase Battle Royale when people already have Fortnite. Like, people aren't going to go from Fortnite to Call of Duty. There's a reason why Fortnite is the market leader. It got the things right, it inspired all of the correct mechanics from PUBG, and everybody loves it. Market leaders lead, you're just following, and your following version will not beat Fortnite and sure a couple of people might look at it I will also look at the battle royale just to take the piss out of you because you are going to do exactly what Cliff Blazinski did with Radical Heights you are going to do 
exactly what that stupid child did at the PC gaming E3 thing with that Battle Royale. You're going to do exactly what that indie company did with the, the culling too. You're going to you're going to trend chase. And you know where it got all three of them? You know where it got Cliff Blazinski? As of today, Bosky Productions is effectively no more. Four years ago, I set out to make a world-class video game studio, and I hired some of the best talent in the video game industry. They worked tirelessly to produce quality products, and while we had our ups and downs, I'd like to think we had fun doing it. Lawbreakers was a great game that unfortunately failed to gain traction, and in a last-ditch attempt, we scrambled to do our take on the huge battle royale genre with Radical Heights, which was well received, however, it was too little too late. Yeah, boss key has been shut down. Do you know why I got the calling too? I think most of you know that last week we launched The Culling 2, and that launch was not successful. The Culling 2 was not a game that you asked for, and it's not the game that you expect as a worthy successor to The Culling. Just days after it was released, The Culling 2 has been taken down from store shelves following an utterly humiliating release. A hurriedly cobbled together battle royale game that looked like Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, but even worse if you can believe it. The Culling 2 was a terrible shooter game that brought absolutely nothing to the battle royale genre. It was merely there to bathe in the reflected success, to try and carve out a piece of the pie even though there were only crumbs left on the plate. Visually horrific, mechanically bland and technically broken, Xavier Games is extremely excruciating embarrassment was thrown out suddenly without any fanfare in a desperate bid to be part of the battle royale craze that has been dominated by PUBG and Fortnite with very few serious contenders. The bid did not pay off. At launch, you'd be lucky to get more than 10 players in a map designed for 50. A few days out from launch, and you could win games just by standing in the lobby for six minutes. Eventually, the highest amount of players I could get together in a game was three. And you don't want to be on a Battle Royale map with only three players, trust me. Yeah, he had to make a formal apology. So, Activision Blizzard, where do you think your Battle Royale is going to get you? I think you already know the answer. You don't have to answer in that little space, you already all know the answer. So, Activision has basically been screwing the pooch so hard over the past week. And let's not forget, let's not forget, children, just a quick admonishing point here. Let's also not forget that you actually can't get the full Call of Duty experience with um, this new one because you have to buy the season pass. If you want all the extras, like the zombies maps, well, they're only available in the season pass, and the season pass is only available in the £80, $100 version because we're still being scummy little bastards. So, oh, that's a thing, isn't it? That's just fucking, it's fucking great. Oh my. <laughs> so, Activision, that's 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 just me saying I'm I'm very displeased at what they're doing with the reignited trilogy and you know I'm I'm probably gonna have to do the thing that we'll 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 end the video with. And they have the beta of the new Call of Duty, the open beta of Black Ops 4 is is just astonishing that they would they would do that. I mean they they already kind of did it with World War Two and people weren't happy with like the loot box system. By the way, the loot boxes are back as well. If you thought the loot boxes were going away, ah ha 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 ha! It's Activision Blizzard, you fools. So yeah, that, that's things that Activision's fucked up and. It's not good. It's not good. I mean, I could have just talked about the Reignited Trilogy and, and got my, my problems with the Reignited Trilogy out, out of the way, but considering they fucked up the beta of Black Ops 4 and it looks like they're trying to sink all the money into trend chasing Fortnite, well, it, they're clearly trying to pour all their money into trend chasing Fortnite and that's why you ain't got a single player and the multiplayer is pretty shit. But hey, maybe the zombies will be alright if you buy the $100 version with the season pass in it to get the zombies because they're only available in the season pass and I'm not going to let you forget that Activision Blizzard. Just like Toys for Bob, if you fuck up my Reignited Trilogy, 
in any way, I'm not gonna let you forget it. Ever. Because with the way it's going, you know what else I think? You know like how in the Insane Trilogy, you could play as Coco, just a different skin, nice and fun and easy, like hey, if there's females, perhaps some females don't want to play as Crash, perhaps they want to play as Coco, there you go, nice little bonus. Well, you know, you know, I don't see, um, it's, it's kind of, I don't want to call it, I don't want to, because I don't like the fact, but... I don't think there's going to be any alternate skins in my game, so if you are a female and you were thinking like, oh maybe I could play as Ember because she's from classic Spyro's era, that'd be pretty cool, I'd like to play as female equivalent, or maybe I'd like to play as Cinder, the more popular one, because everybody loves her and she got moved over into Skyland. Nah, I'm sorry ladies, but considering how how quick Toys for Bob wants to get this out and they don't even want to put the two other games on the disc it probably isn't going to happen so I would make that happen Toys for Bob because as I say if you fuck it up I'm not gonna let you forget it I never am and you got me really worried and you're not addressing any issues at all and I really wish I was there like all these people you invited to to say, hey, look, we invited th this guy. Oh, he got to see the Reignited trilogy. I fucking didn't. I know that you've got. A, I know that you've got an office in the UK. I've, I've googled it. I've seen it. Didn't invite me though, did you? Didn't it? You didn't invite the one who is in the games. You didn't invite the greatest dragon in gaming that is going to have your head if you mess this up. But yeah, so that's. That's my little ranty video today to say that Activision is just being fucking stupid and again, like EA, hopefully all this shit will bite them in that the arse hard and we can slowly start to get rid of all of these AAA publishers that are clearly a detriment to the gaming industry at this point, just trying to monetize all this shit to the 8th degree. And hopefully they can just fuck off to mobile gaming, which nobody gives a shit about, and mainstream gaming can actually be taken up by good independent developers. You know, like the guys that are making Flippin' Death because it looks pretty cool, or Team Cherry making Hollow Knight, or the guys that made Bomb Chicken. But for now, thank you all for listening in. It was more of like a little podcast video, not really many visuals, but for now, thank you all for, for listening in to us getting annoyed at Activision doing all this scummy shit and uh, I will now know what I'm going to have to do across all of August because you know it's looking like that's gonna have to be a video that's made I had to see I had two endings planned this is just a little backstory I kind of knew that Activision Blizzard would fuck something up because it's Activision Blizzard and of course they always fuck something up and I had two endings, and I've still got the two endings for the video. But for the, re the review of the Reignited Trilogy, there's two endings. There's the good ending, where they don't fuck up, but that's Activision Blizzard. And the more and more we're seeing of it, like them fucking up the guns and then not putting everything onto the physical disc because they're idiots. The more and more they're fucking it up, it looks like we're going to have to go with the bad ending. So, I will, I will leave you with the bad ending or I will leave you with what I'm going to do with the bad ending it won't be the entire thing but it'll give you a basic idea and all you need to know is I'm Queen Estelle I'm the one singing the vocals I'm gonna re-record the vocals and um, Star Swirl and Celestia it's gonna have Bobby Cotton's face or is it Bobby Cotton? I can't remember his fucking second name but Star Swirl's gonna have Robert's face and uh, I'll find out who whose fucking toys for Bob is, and that's gonna have Slen Celestia is gonna have his face, and uh, yeah. So I'll leave you with what is probably going to be the bad ending because fuck Activision Blizzard because they are a bunch of bastards. Not only fucking over my game and my fans, but also fucking over the Call of Duty game and the Call of Duty fans. So there you go. Dicks. But now I understand what I couldn't see then. You tried to fit me in.
that role But now I'm taking back control So fair my fury Fair iron ass The heart that's long me cold It's time to recompense For the damage and the lies Fair my fury Take back your first Release me from torment I'm still in West Real Will be free once again A new era begins All my pain and all my strife Be back to you